inevitable. Close, actually. Because you're... Because you're more... Hi, Dad. Morgan. Wow. Just worked. Yeah. Yeah, it worked for me. I got to live and grow up. For you, I can't answer. Welcome back everyone, it's Charlie. This is going to be my video for the Avengers Endgame deleted scene of Iron Man going into the Soul World in the alternate ending to the movie. We're doing that giant Infinity Saga box set giveaway for all the films. All you have to do to enter that is be a subscriber and leave your best theory for how Iron Man can come back in Marvel Phase 4 and Marvel Phase 5. So Iron Man goes into the Soul World when he snaps the Nano Infinity Gauntlet like everyone is supposed to go into this way station area as they call it during the filmmaking process. They call it the way station, but technically it's the Soul World. Instantly you sense the mechanics of how this place works for each different person who uses the Infinity Gauntlet. It's a makeshift version of the campsite from outside his lake house earlier in the movie where Iron Man found Morgan Stark playing in her tent with Pepper Potts rescue armor from the comics. The place itself is meant to be some meaningful shared place from each person's history. That's why for Thanos, it was this place with young Gamora on her homeworld. It's the place where he decided to adopt her, so that's why it's so meaningful for him. Adult Morgan Stark, played by Katherine Langford, who you all probably recognize, tells him that everything worked out, she got to grow up and have a happy life with Pepper Potts, everything is okay, and he doesn't need to worry about whether or not he made the right decision in sacrificing himself to snap the Infinity Gauntlet or do the whole big time heist and bring everyone back. The really interesting part too is that she also tells them that she can't say whether or not he's alive in the future. I can't say about you, mostly because Marvel doesn't have a contract with Robert Downey Jr. to come back in the live action movies beyond the Black Widow movie. There's a rumor that he's coming back in a scene for Black Widow, but it might just wind up being a deleted scene from Captain America Civil War. That's kind of a separate thing. I'll talk about it during my Black Widow videos when they start dropping trailers for that movie. 
Side note too, you probably also heard Jeff Goldblum recently confirmed that he filmed scenes with Robert Downey Jr. for the Avengers What If series, so he will be coming back for new stuff during Marvel Phase 4. It's just on Kevin Feige and Marvel to find compelling reasons for him to come back in the live action movies like Young Avengers or the future Avengers movies as a hologram or a special message that he left behind that they find. Just some compelling reason for him to come back and play the character aside from him just straight up coming back alive or an alternate universe universe version. The other reason why she says this too, she can't say whether or not he's alive, is because they were playing it like he might never come back in the future. And even this version of Morgan Stark that Iron Man is talking to isn't the actual Morgan Stark, it's just a piece of her soul that he's connected to because of the power of the combined Infinity Stones. It's kind of complicated what's happening here, the mechanics of it all, but the stones are reaching forward in time and connecting him to a piece of her soul, pulling it into the soul world. You have to remember that most of the movie is about them traveling back into the past, but you can actually use the Infinity Gauntlet to travel to any point in the future that you want to. They have a nice callback to the I Love You 3000 line from earlier in the movie, and then after this, what would have happened is they had the Avengers take a knee deleted scene where they do a much bigger, longer version of the goodbye scene with Spider-Man, Pepper Potts, and Rhodey. Here's a short clip of that. Iron Man 1 was incredibly special. We sort of improv the whole thing. We laughed, we cried, we, we got very, very close on that movie. We were the first Marvel movie as a studio. You know, there was no real model for it yet. Nobody expected too much of it. I think most of us have been pretty vocal about what he started and, and without him, none of us would be in this position. The scene goes on even longer. You can even see younger Gamora from 2014 get all awkward when they start getting down on one knee because she never met Iron Man. She doesn't know Tony Stark. So she's like, peace, I'm out of here. That's why Peter Quill and Thor, the Guardians of the Galaxy, are plotting a course to track her ship down at the end of the movie in that other scene. But you watch those Iron Man scenes and you probably understand why they chose to delete them. The Iron Man Soul World scene is cool, but the whole reason why the writers said that they originally tried to include it was to make Iron Man feel like things would be okay. He made the right call in the much shorter scene with Pepper Potts saying, Tony, we're going to be okay. And Spider-Man saying goodbye right after this moment also does the exact same thing in half the time. So you would have had two separate scenes doing the exact same thing. The other big reason why they cut it is because they showed the scene to test audiences and most of the people were confused about who Morgan Stark was, Catherine Langford. They didn't make the connection that she was the older version of this young little girl. And for the people that did recognize who she was supposed to be, because you've only spent a couple of scenes with the young Morgan Stark character, most of the people watching didn't really care that much about her. So the scene didn't wind up carrying the weight that they wanted it to. And for most casual viewers, it just made things more confusing. The reason why they cut the Avengers take a knee scene is because it was originally there to just have everyone pay tribute to Iron Man's sacrifice. And they also do that again right after this during the funeral scene. So they cut it for pretty much the same reason why they cut the Soul World scene. You're doing just the same scene over and over again, making the film longer than it needs to be. And they found that they were turning the ending of the movie into a Lord of the Rings Return of the King situation. Remember how that movie had several different endings? Like the whole last 15 to 20 minutes of Return of the King was a bunch of different ending scenes. When really you only want one or two and then any other tags that you want with the different characters you handle in the post credit scenes because it's a Marvel movie. But the issue they said they had with Avengers Endgame is that they wanted the movie to feel special, like a real ending for some of these characters, even though they're definitely coming back in Black Widow. Like Black Widow died, but technically the Black Widow movie is set during the past, so it's not quite as perfect a situation as they would like. But that's the whole reason why they didn't want a post credit scene like you would see in a traditional Marvel film and instead did that special montage post credit scene with all the titles and then the Iron Man audio taken from the cave scene in the first Iron Man movie with him banging the hammer making that Mark I armor. But let me know in the comments, do you think that they were right to cut the Soul World scene and the scene of them taking a knee after Iron Man died? There's a ton of other bonus content and deleted scenes from the Avengers Infinity Saga box set from all the different Marvel films going back to phase one. Let me know if there are any special videos that you want me to make because most of this stuff is obviously for Avengers Endgame, but there's way more stuff going back to the other films. I'm working on a new video for the Mandalorian about Yoda's race and their history that should post later tonight. But while you wait for everything, click here for that brand new Avengers What If trailer and click here for all my Avengers Endgame deleted scenes videos. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody stay awesome. I'll see you guys tonight.